When you're getting started with IP addressing, go big. Let's start off back in the NetBox interface. So, so as we begin with the IP addressing, and you remember the flow from last time, matter of fact, let me, let me bring that up right here. This is the flow, the big picture of how NetBox does IP address management. We're gonna start off over there on the upper left with the aggregate world, right? So when you first come into the aggregate, this is the top level IP allocations. Now there won't be any to start off with, and one of the things you'll find out really quick is there's a required field right here, the, the routing information, Registry, I think that's what it stands for, routing information registry that you must define first. So, so what is that? Well, routing information registry is where you go to get IP addresses. So a lot of times if you're a carrier, somebody providing uh, ISP, you're, you're an ISP, you provide um, internet services to different people, you will have large blocks of IP addresses that you can get. Also, if you're in a data center, you get uh, large blocks that way. Um, let me show you technically uh, a routing information registry. Let me actually go right over there. RIR, right? You can see none by default and we get, and all it is is, is a name, right? Um, this right here, Aaron, is uh, what I use out here in the United States of America for our registry. If you haven't ever done it before, you should. Go to Aaron, what is it, .net and uh, register yourself. You don't have to go get an IP address block or, or autonomous system number. That's, that's the two big things that you get from right here. Uh, IP addresses and autonomous system numbers. Uh, but just going through the process can be super educational into how the whole thing works. Now, I'm in the middle of, what year is it? Uh, 2020, right? COVID, ah! Uh, yeah, the world has changed. So, so anyway, we've long since been out of IP addresses. So you're not going to come here to get a block of IP addresses. So some of the things that you might find out is like, well, instead of using RIR, unless you already have uh, you know, a routing information registry like Aaron that you use, um, you might do things like do, uh, for instance, RFC 1918. That RFC is is uh, for private IP addresses. As a matter of fact, if you click on this, uh, you can see that uh, that's, that's one of the recommended ones. And maybe right there, yep, RFC 1918 private addresses. So 10.x.x.x, 172.16 through 31, uh, 192.168, all those are private IP addresses. And we use NetBox to track them so we can create that, right? I'll create and add another. Um, maybe instead of saying Aaron, because you might not go out and register your IP addresses that way, maybe you put your carrier, you know, may, the carrier that it comes with, uh, CenturyLink. Um, or level three, or what, whatever your uh, routing information registries are, your carriers are, where you get those IP addresses. Add them in here so that you can keep track of them, right? This will be a big picture utilization of what you've got from those agencies and how much you have left. Now we'll go to the aggregates. In the aggregate area, this is where you go with the big picture prefix. And as I mentioned in the overview just a moment ago, go big. If, well, if you're going private, go big, right? Public, you actually pay for those. So of course you would go with exactly the, the largest prefix that you have. But when you're like, for instance, when you come to the private addresses, that's where you go 10.0.0.0 forward slash eight, right? Routing information registry, RFC 1918. Date added, that would be today, August 12th, right? Put in the description, private address RFC 1918 block. Right, create and add another. And the nice thing is, when and thank you, thank you, Jeremy Stretch, the guy who created NetBox. If he did this, when you hit create and add another, it actually keeps the previous settings right there. So you can just go real quick, you know, one eight two one six eight zero zero slash sixteen. Create and add another. It's already got the, you know, descriptions in there and the same RIR that you want. So one eight two dot sixteen dot zero dot zero. I think it's slash twelve. Um, is that once it's that weird class B one? You know, the the um. Uh, go in there and, and add those in. So now we've got the big picture aggregates that allow us to now go down and start defining our prefixes. The big picture is set. It's that simple.